Uh, now what we want to do before we actually uh, send the request to this username check file, we want to check whether the username is equal to uh, nothing or not. So I'm going to say if username doesn't equal nothing, so i.e. if there is some text inside there at least, because we don't want to be sending a uh, nothing to the username check.php because it would be a waste of resources. So we pre-check the username if it's equal to nothing. If it is e if it isn't equal to nothing, that means it must be equal to something. So we can go ahead and start calling username check.php or sending some data to this file. So we use the post HTTP request. This is the basis of it. However, we're, we're going to supply three parameters to this. The first parameter is going to be the file that we're checking uh, inside of. So this is php forward slash username check.php. You'll see if you take a look at my directory structure, I uh, keep all my PHP files inside this PHP directory. So the db.php here and the username check file here. Uh, in the root directory is index.php. Uh, and then in JavaScript, we have this users.js, which we're currently uh, modifying. So we're searching, uh, well, we're sending data to this file here. And the data that we want to send uh, is specified within curly brackets. So we want to send a variable called username. Don't mistake this variable here for this one here. We're sending a variable called username, which we'll pick up in this file later. And the value of this is username. So this value here corresponds to this. However, this is the name of the variable that we're sending. The last parameter we want to give is a callback function, and this is going to take a parameter data. Now data is going to be the data that's returned from username check.php. So for example, uh, the username is available or not. We're essentially going to echo out uh, a value uh, in this file, which will then be returned to this data variable. So we bring that down a bit just to make everything look a bit tidier. Okay, so now what we want to do is before we put any content in here, we want to focus on username check.php. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is connect to our database. So I'm going to outline some PHP tags and I'm going to uh, use the MySQL uh, connect function to connect to my MySQL server. And this is located on localhost with a, a username of root and a password of nothing. Uh, then we want to select the appropriate database. In this case, we are selecting the database called jQuery. So we go ahead and type jQuery in there. Now we can leave this file alone now. Username check.php will include this file uh, so we can close that off. So inside username check.php, we want to go ahead and include this file using require. So we require db.php. This is just going to make sure that this file does exist and our script uh, doesn't continue if this file can't be found. And obviously, like I said, if we were to say echo something back in here, so for example, username available, this value here would then correspond to this. It would be returned within this data variable here. So this then would be inserted into the data variable or passed back to the data variable. So whichever uh, we echo out, we might echo out uh, username available or sorry, that username is not available. We can then uh, apply to this span here. And we do that by um, referencing or selecting the span, which is username status and then we set the text of that to data so remember data is up here as well so that corresponds to that so now that we can do now that we've done that we can just go ahead and test this I'm just going to echo test and when I come over to my page now what's going to happen is when I type something uh, we get this test uh, variable sent back as well as a flicker of a searching site uh, uh, text as well Now we do have uh, another problem uh, when we revert back to the uh, having nothing, we still get this searching sign here. So after our Ajax call here and uh, after our if statement here, oh, in actual fact, sorry, before this if statement here, uh, we want to, no, we want to include it as an else. And the reason for this is if the username uh, does equal nothing, uh, we want to go ahead, go ahead and put nothing into this um, username status span. So username status dot text and nothing in there. And what that's going to do is we can type something. We can have this value here returned from our PHP file here. 
but then if we uh, revert back to nothing uh, everything disappears so we want to make sure that we don't include any aesthetic errors in our code okay so now that we've done the users.js uh, this t this is all ready to go and um, whatever's returned from username check uh, will be placed into the span just after this input field so essentially I'll our jQuery is working we now need to create the PHP file that will send this data back so the first thing we want to do is check if the uh, username variable has been passed to this uh, file so remember I said that the variable is called username and contains the value username up here so we use this variable name here in PHP to pick it up so it will be dollar underscore post because we re remember we're sending the value uh, as post data, all these values contained within here as post data.